everyone welcome to my channel today I am doing a haul video it is that time of year Black Friday it is the best time of year for nail techs to stock up on their essential items and even grab a few new things to try it's the best time to shop uh, you get the best deals and as always I like to try and film a Black Friday haul for you guys and I definitely stocked up on my essentials i got a ton of nail files like oh my gosh i don't even know where i'm gonna put and store all of these nail files but it's the best time of year to stock up so i got so many of them and of course i got new colors some new collections nail art products to share with you i am so excited also if you're new here my name is katie i am a licensed nail tech and i do gel nails exclusively so all the products that i'm going to share with you today are things that are gel or you can use to work with gel nails. I will make sure and put everything down in the description box below. And as always, check out my website if you are interested in classes, future classes, all that kind of stuff has to do with gel nails. So let's go ahead and get started with the Black Friday haul. Okay, starting with the, you could say boring things, not quite as exciting, but definitely like a necessity and it's the perfect time to stock up during Black Friday. So example, files. I think I ordered 200, 200 files, I think. So I have a huge box of nail files. My favorite are the Luxa 10180 Zebra files. And so I ordered a huge box of these as well as the Luxa sponge buffers. These are the 10180 buffers. So I got a whole bunch of buffers, a whole bunch of files stocked up on all of the essential things because no matter what, I'm going to need the files. A another thing I stocked up on is my hard gel. I got a couple more pots of hard gel. This is my favorite, the Accents Proformance hard gel. This is the Trinity gel in clear. And then we also have the shade SW1, which I love. These ones are not opened yet, but this is like my current jar of SW1 and that's the color so that you can see kind of what color it is and then we also have the clear okay next i got a whole bunch of rings from girls crew and they came in these little packages here i love having rings for client photos videos that kind of stuff um, I think it just makes everything look really nice. So let me show you the rings that I got from them. Took the plunge on Black Friday and ordered some. I also got from Amazon this nice little ring case so that whenever I am going to grab a ring for client pictures, I have all my rings like easily displayed. They used to be in a little box, like all jumbled together. And now this way, I can easily grab the rings that I want. Uh, all the rings that I got from Girls Crew are basically these ones right here. So I got, I needed some more silver and rose gold. So just some really nice, like dainty kind of looking rose gold ones. Also some silver. These ones are really cool because they're like, they look pretty basic, but they have like a cool texture or design on them. So gold and rose gold for that. My favorite ring that I got is this rose gold one that has these crystals in it. So sparkly and gorgeous. I think I might need this ring in some other um, colors as well. This one is adjustable so you can make it wider or a little bit smaller if you want which is great especially for client pictures because it will fit most fingers then. But I did get another filter for my dust collector. I actually got two filters so that should last me around four or five months or so and this is the filter for the she max dust collector which i am loving um i have another video that i had just posted recently about what i keep on my desk and in that video i share a little bit more about the dust collector jelly fit usa i do have a coupon code for jelly fit which is kd10 which will save you 10 percent off so i ordered some new colors from jelly fit first i ordered the azelle colors which 
Azelle is another line, but it's also created by Jellyfit. You can purchase it from the Jellyfit USA website. This is the Real Graham collection, and these are all holographic colors. So this is the Silver HL01, so sparkly. Especially, I do have lots of lighting, so in direct lighting, it's like really, really sparkly and holographic. Look how holographic that is. Now these colors are a little bit more sheer. You can definitely use them on their own or you can layer them on top of other colors. This is the gold, which is HL02. 03 is a pink shade. You can see all that holographic goodness in there. Zero four is a really pretty lavender which i love then we have zero five which is a nice green and we have zero six which is a nice dark almost kind of black blue color so here's all of the shades this is two coats some of them are still kind of sheer. You can kind of see my finger like under that silver. So just keep that in mind that you may want to use it over top of another color. I think it's still pretty though with just the two coats and they are so, so sparkly. And next we have some solid Jelly Fit colors. So most of these colors are from the Fall in Firens collection, which is a fall winter collection. And then I did order some separate ones. This one, CN90, is my absolute favorite. It's so bright. This is seriously one of my new favorite reds. Love it. And then I also got CN89, which is a nice kind of middle of the road red, not too dark, not too bright. It does have the tiniest pearl shimmer to it. Barely, like when I say that, just barely. <laughs> it's like barely there. And then this is CN88, which is a nice, more of a purple shade red, purple toned red, dark red. Again, I think this one also has a really faint pearlescent color to it. 91, and it's a really nice, kind of mauve-ish pink, kind of plummy, rosy kind of a color. And then I have one more that I got separate. I didn't realize I ordered a couple more <laughs> that were separate from the actual collection. Is 201, FW201, which is just a nice dark chocolatey brown. It's looking a little darker on camera than it is in person. Now, these ones are the ones that are from that Fall and Firens collection. So we have 203, which is a nice, like, in between orange and a yellow. It's very, very mustardy yellow. 204. I feel like the colors match the bottles very well, which is super nice when looking at the bottles like on your shelf or something. This is a nice light terracotta color. 205 is kind of like a similar shade, but a little bit darker. 206 is another really nice. This one's more kind of a berry darker shade. 206 is a super nice olive green. This is really unique. I find that they have a lot of unique colors in their collections. 208 is a super nice sea foam minty green color. 209 is a super nice cream, light creamy gray color. 210 which is another really unique color that I love. This is a gray green so it does have some green to it and but it's also kind of a smoky gray color super unique i don't have any color like that 211 is a nice dusty purple color 212 is a darker more eggplant purple color 213 is a nice dark blue 
And the last color, 214, is a brighter, more teal turquoise color. It is seriously on my camera showing up straight up blue, but it is more green. So just keep that in mind. It is like so weird. I'm looking in the camera. It does not look anything like it does in person. So there's all of the Jelly Fit colors. If you haven't tried Jelly Fit before, I do recommend trying them out. Um, most of these colors are one coat coverage. Uh, some of them needed a couple more coats. Like these darker reds, they had more of like a jelly kind of finish to them where they were a little bit more translucent. But most of these colors, I was able to get away on the swatch with just one coat, especially, like I said, that cream light color. That's one coat, which is pretty darn amazing. And you can find all the links to everything down below in the description box. Next, we got lots of Cocoist nail products. This brand I am very excited about. I actually just got certified in the Cocoist nail products. I am loving them, you guys. Like, they are so nice such great quality majority of this order is black friday and then some of it is just a couple other colors that i ordered like the week after black friday because they released a new color collection like the week after i think it was like the 5th of december or something that they released a new color collection and i really wanted some of those new colors so i ordered from them again and i thought i would just show you everything even though some of them were technically not a black friday order and if you're not aware of the brand cocoist it is a japanese soft gel line so all of their products are soak off um, they don't make any like hard gel products they consider it soft gel or a semi-hard gel so and then they do have their u.s location in texas so even though they're Japanese, when you order from them, their products are coming from Texas. So you don't have to, you're not trying to order like internationally or anything. So to start with, I have ordered their Nail Thought Tinted Bases. And Nail Thought is an account or a brand basically by Katie Masters on Instagram. So her Instagram account is called Nail Thoughts and this is her little logo. And she has basically collaborated with Cocoist to create some of these products. And I'm absolutely loving them. And look how adorable the box is. You know how I am about boxes if you've been watching my channel. So these are all of the tinted bases that I ordered on Black Friday. I do have three more that I was using before Black Friday that I was trying out. They're basically a builder in a bottle, soak off builder. They don't need a base coat, so they're a base coat and a color and a builder in one. And then you would still need top coat if you wanted to leave them the color they are. You can put a gel polish color on top or you can just apply your top coat and you're good to go. I have it on my nails right now. This is the rosé color. It's like a pink gel that has a gold fleck in it. So I didn't add any color. I didn't add any glitter on top. I just top coated. This hand has the peach color. So I did the peach color and then I did the color on top and the French and design and stuff. Zoom in a little bit so we can look at these colors a little bit closer. First is, this is their peach base. This is probably, I would say, my favorite color. It works really well with most of my clients and I think it's because it has more of a peachy tone to it. It has a little bit more brown in it versus like a super bubblegum cotton candy pink. I did get the milky base which is just the milky white color. I did get the clear. The champagne base is just like the rose that I have, or the rose that I have on my nails, but it's a more neutral, less pink shade, but you can see all those sparkles in there, lots of sparkles. Then we have taupe, which is a really nice darker taupe shade. And we have rose again, which is the one that I have on my nails. And here's all the shades together. The three that I have that I previously had that were not in this order is this color, which is hazelnut creamer, cotton candy, and strawberry milk. So these are all the shades that I have all together, not including the clear. And I am really enjoying these. They are very self-leveling, but they are not 
runny, which I love. I still cure one nail at a time because I don't want it to move once I get it into that perfect smooth finish, but I just really, really like the consistency of these. They are so nice. Okay, I did get a couple top coats. This is their Stain Barrier No Wipe Top Coat. It's not recommended to use this one over just gel polish manicure, so you do have to have some sort of structure on the nail, but they do say that you can use it over the Nail Thoughts base, which is really nice. So I got this, this is their mini size. They have like a full bottle size and the mini. I just got the mini to try it out. And then we have the Nail Thoughts top coat, which is not a no wipe top coat. So you do have to cleanse this one. And this one is really thick. I like a thick, thick top coats, especially if you want to cover like glitter, anything that could possibly stick up or like if you did a really lots of nail art, like hand painted nail art and you want a nice smooth, glossy finish over the top, I do like thick top coats for that. So that's why I wanted to get this one. This is the glassy top coat. This is one of their base gels, Bonding Duo in a bottle. I wanted to try it out. The Bonding Duo base gel is a little bit less flexible, a little bit harder than your um, Nail Thoughts bases. So this one's gonna be closer to like a hard gel versus this one is gonna be a little bit more flexible. All right, then I got some colors here. These are all Nail Thoughts colors. So again, she has the Builder in a Bottle colors as well as gel polish colors. This is the one that I got in the actual Black Friday order, which is called My Favorite Red, and it's a super, super extreme bright red. Like my camera is not even doing it justice. It's extremely bright. It does have a little bit more of an orange red tone to it versus a blue red. Then we have these four colors are from the newest collection, Earl Grey, which is a nice kind of gray brown color. Cinnamon Sugar, which is a pretty like coppery glitter. It's so sparkly and beautiful. Uh, Dolce de Leche, which is like, honestly, it's kind of like a baby poop brown, <laughs> um, brown orange color, but sometimes these colors get really popular. Like you just never know and it's super unique. So that's why I got this one. This was the color that I really, really wanted. This is Thai tea and it is like the perfect burnt orange, like in between a brown and an orange. It's showing a little bit of a brighter orange in my camera, but I would say it has a tinge more brown to it. It is like the perfect burnt orange that I have been looking for for my entire life. And then I got two more. They're not from the new collection, but I just grabbed two more. The tortoise shell color, which is like the perfect base for your tortoise shells. And I also got Desert Road, which is a nice neutral, little bit of pink in there. And then it has a really pretty silver shimmer. And here are the swatches for those. So nice, like ugh, they just look so lovely together. And then we have the super, super bright red. Okay, a couple more Cocoist products. I got the Cocoist Aurora Design Film. I don't know if you guys have seen those nails that have become really popular. It's like you put this design, you put this film on it and then you also put a chrome over the top and it's supposed to like give this really cool effect. Ooh, so I really like that it already has like cutouts basically for the film so you can easily like pop out the shape that you want and apply it to the nail. There's like lots of different colors in here of this film. I also got a couple packs of the Cocoist nail wipes. Again, another product that's really good to stock up on because you're gonna use it with everyone. And these nail wipes are pretty large squares. They are supposed to be lint free, but I will say they are like 
fuzzy, but I think once you fully saturate it with your alcohol or acetone, whatever you're using, then they are virtually lint-free. Couple last products from Cocoist. I got their brush cleaning gel. I haven't used it yet, obviously, but this gel is specifically for cleaning out your brushes and it does not have any curing agents in it. So it will not cure in your brushes ever. So you can use it to clean your brushes and it will never like accidentally cure in your brushes or anything like that. Specifically just for cleaning your brushes and it's got like a nice little squeezy tube. I did get their blackest black which is I think great for nail art. I got some of their Excel Builder in clear which is their thickest kind of builder gel which you can use for like 3D kind of designs and stuff. This is one of the designs that I did in the Cocoist certification class. It's a really cute citrus fruit design and you can see it's kind of raised and that's what the Excel Builder was used for. And you can also use it, of course, on the nails as an overlay or to sculpt extensions as well. I did get their non-wipe accessory bond, which is good for applying charms. It's a no-wipe gel. I did use it to apply this charm. It's been on for over a week now and it is not budging at all. And I also got their boba gel in high and the boba gel is like a 3D modeling, sculpting, paste type of gel. So like this is actually the gel right there. Like look at that. It's super thick but you can just pull out however much you want and you can literally mold it into 3D designs. Like, look at that, it's not moving. It's stuck there. All right, so that's everything that I got in my 2022 Black Friday haul. Um, if there's any products that you wanna see more of, definitely let me know in the comments. I'm always reading your guys' comments and I try to respond to as many as I possibly can and I really appreciate all of you guys who always comment on my videos, watch my videos. It means so much to me so i really appreciate it and i hope you guys have a wonderful day don't forget to follow me on my social media and i will see you guys later bye